from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, March the 9th, 2018. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu flew back to Israel today after his five-day visit to the United States, which included addressing the APAC Policy Conference and meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump and congressional leaders in Washington earlier this week and meeting in New York with U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley yesterday. After meeting with Haley, Netanyahu and his wife Sarah, along with Jerusalem Affairs and Heritage Minister Zev Elkin and Israeli Ambassador to the UN Dani Danone, toured the Jerusalem exhibit currently being presented at the UN. The exhibit focuses on 3,000 years of Jewish presence in Jerusalem and the continuous link of the Jewish people to Israel and Jerusalem in various periods. While noting there was some opposition to the exhibit, the Prime Minister noted that it was greatly significant. This exhibit would not have been possible 10 years ago. And this exhibit will be unnecessary 10 years from now. We are changing the world. We are changing Israel's position in the world. And above all, we are making it clear that we fight for the truth and for our rights. Violent demonstrations were reported today across the West Bank as well as along the security fence with Gaza. In Hebron, one Palestinian was said to have been killed during such a riot where Palestinians threw rocks and Molotov cocktails at IDF forces. Several Palestinians were also reported injured in Ramallah and near the security fence with Gaza. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, the protesters were demonstrating against the anticipated move of the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem this coming May. U.S. Special Representative for International Negotiations Jason Greenblatt said a brainstorming session will take place at the White House next week to find real solutions to the problems that terror group Hamas has caused in Gaza. Greenblatt wrote of this in an op-ed published yesterday in the Washington Post, writing there was a meeting held in Cairo yesterday addressing the humanitarian situation in Gaza. Hamas seized control of Gaza back in 2007 from the Palestinian Authority, and conditions for Gaza's residents have seriously declined since then. In the op-ed, Greenblatt called for Hamas to disarm and commit to peaceful negotiations with Israel and to return the remains of two IDF soldiers being held by Hamas in Gaza, as well as three Israeli civilians. He wrote, there is a way out for Gaza if only Hamas has the courage to admit failure and chart a new course. Well, over 35,000 runners made their way across the city of Jerusalem this morning in the city's annual and largest ever marathon. While most of the participants were Jerusalemites, there were about 4,000 runners who came to Israel from 72 different countries to take part. The winner, 27-year-old Kenyan Kipkogi Shadrach. The route began near Israel's Knesset, past the Machane Yehuda Market, Mount Scopus, the Old City and Tower of David, and the Haas Promenade. Well, it took 70 years, but Hanoch Shachar finally had his bar mitzvah in Israel this week. The 83-year-old Holocaust survivor went through the Theresienstadt concentration camp and lived, but his entire family was murdered during the Holocaust, and he was never able to have a bar mitzvah. Telling the Israel Broadcasting Corporation, I saw something was missing in my life, a tree, a branch, real parents. Well, this week, friends and family accompanied Shachar for the Jewish rite of passage at a synagogue in the northern Israeli town of Tzfat, where he lives. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, March the 9th, live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by a concert from the Andalus Ensemble. Then at 8, we hear from a panel of artists at the 92nd Street Y, including Israeli writer Amos Oz and Jewish architect Daniel Liebskind. At 9, it's the film A Simple Matter of God and Country. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 5.30, Rabbi Shlomo Riskin looks at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, March the 9th, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader. Shabbat Shalom.